Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, I'm your host Nobody and today we're going back to Slime Rancher. So last night while I was playing the game, I didn't record this part, but I just did a whole bunch of resource gathering. I've gathered a lot of plorts. As you can see, we're at 100 there, 100 there, and almost at 100 here. Let's go ahead and hit the button and see what happens. Yeah, so 71 and 71, but that is not it. If we go over here to the silo, we are basically almost completely full on all of the sides here. So we definitely have plenty of money. Also, while I was out, I came across my first gold slime here. There we go. and we have a gold port. Now, I don't necessarily know what to do with it yet, so I'm just going to hold on to it. And I've also started a chicken army. I started just throwing these little guys down here, uh, and it seems to have kind of spread out of control. So we're going to see how far this will go. Maybe it'll cause my game to get laggy at some point. Maybe it'll even crash my file. But you know what? Uh, I'm definitely excited to see what happens. So if we go over to the uh, refinery here, you can also see that I've collected some of these more exotic resources because I kept falling into water and I was losing them, sadly. Uh, we get about $2,000. I haven't sold anything since the last time we recorded, but we should be able to get things like the bat pack and i'm gonna go ahead and get that now now we can also get you know things like the extra tank which i'm gonna go ahead and do all right and another thing that i'm interested in getting is the water tank uh we're a little short on cash but we also don't have any puddle slimes or angler slimes to get these plorts so that might be something we do here in just a minute so let's go ahead and get our energy built up real quick all right, and there we go. We got 150 energy, so let's see what we can do with this. How high can we go? And it seems to be a level cap, but we can definitely get to places we have not gone before. All right, so let's see. Next order of business is let's see what the market is doing. So let's see. Our cotton plorts are at 24. Tabbies are also at 26. Honey is at 26 as well. And the rock plorts, for whatever reason, is on the downswing at only 25. Um, I want to wait until morning, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here to the house. We are going to, and we are actually going to skip a couple more hours. I want to be right after midnight. And there we go. We are at midnight. So the market should be resetting. And yes, it is. And let's see what the prices are now. Okay, those have stabilized. Everything stabilized. The honey ports have gone up a little bit, and the rock ports are also going up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to sell as many things as humanly possible. All right, guys, in about 13 hours of in-game time, I have accumulated almost $40,000, which should sustain us for at least a hot minute. Uh, I don't really know how uh, expensive things in this game will be, so at least we know we're going to be at least in a comfortable place, at least for a little bit. All right, so I got one full slot of carrots and I got one full slot of mint mango. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go out here and look for these big largos and see if we can burst some of them open. If I remember correctly, just here, yes, uh, we have this phosphorus slime thing that we got to bust open. So hopefully 30 mint mangoes can get the job done. And main, oh, yep, 30 exactly. There we go. All right, and it looks like we may need a tabby cat plort in order to bust that open. Oh my god. Well, I was just coming back to put some of these uh, exotic resources away, and it looks like a bunch of the little chits have hatched. Don't go crazy, guys. Jeez. All right, but we do have our tabby cat plort, so let's go ahead and try to get that door open. All right, and with any luck, this should be it. And yes, it was. What is behind this door? Um, a little bit more of a cave. We got a jar right away. What's in here? Nothing special. Hey, all right. We got a treasure box. Not too bad. Uh, a tank liner. Use at the fabricator to upgrade the vats tank guard. I'm not sure what a tank guard is, but we can upgrade it. All right, we found the pink one. Oh, excuse me. They're called Gordos, not Largos. Uh, but hopefully 30 carrots can get this guy done. Let's see. Yes, sir. Well, actually 29. Let's go ahead and pick up some of this stuff. And what is it? It seems to be a geyser of sorts. Uh, we got a jar. Let's go ahead and bust that open. Uh, nothing special. All right, so we just got to wait on it to blast up again, and there we go. Hey, and we got one of these buttons again, so let's go ahead and put that, and we... It looks like we might have another portal open, guys. So we'll see what happens. Hell yeah. All right, so we got another portal, so where does this one lead? Hey, Emerald Valley. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we made it over to this island. We've made it here before. We just haven't uncovered the map yet, but uh, we're on a completely separate island now. Hey, and right away, we got some more radiant ore, man. 
Good shit. Okay, so there's some more radiant ore. I'm not gonna pick that up. I just went back and took all those extra resources back because I didn't want this to end up being a resource journey. Uh, we do know we need some anglers, but I want to see what else is here first. Uh, and this jetpack allows us to get into higher places now. There we go. I'm not sure what that is. That might be silky sand, maybe? Ooh, there's another ledge up here. The backpack will allow us to get there. And it does seem like there is a way to traverse on top. So what is down there? Uh, some angry fellas. That's what's up there. Okay, we finally found our first cube berry plant. And there's another way over here as well. Okay, so a bunch of the same, it looks like. So we still have to go a little ways into the island before we see anything, you know, new. Uh, but there seems to be this nice little area up here. This is kind of like the um, ruins that was in the end of the last game. So where is this going to lead? And it led us to our death. Uh, so, oh, well, there's another little spot in the back. We can go ahead and take our backpack over there. All right, well, it seems like there's really not much on the ruins. Um, I'm kind of curious why this is here. All right, well, you know what? I know we're going to need anglers. We need angler slimes for the fabricator. So let's go ahead and pick up, uh, I don't know, five of these guys. And here's our fifth one right here. Okay, is there anything more in here to be had? Uh, we got some water. Got some nice waterfalls. Uh, that looks like it might be death, so we're not going to jump down there. Oh, there's a path behind the waterfall. And we're in a cave now, it seems. There's some more radiant ore, but again, we're not on a journey for ore right now. Uh, definitely a lot of resources to be had, so we're definitely going to try to come back here at some point. Um, let's see. We can go up. Let's see what's behind these uh, little statues here real quick. Okay, there's a platform. And it looks like a dead end, so I'm kind of curious why this is here. Hey! We finally found some puddle slimes. I know we need these guys. So let's grab about, I don't know, five of them. Hey, and another treasure box. Vat tank. Use that the fabricator to upgrade the vat's extra tank. There we go. And you can see there's also three nodes of resources here. So if we were actually interested in grabbing resources on this outing, uh, we would definitely be in good luck. Okay, I want to try to stay up here as much as possible. This game loves to hide things in very weird places. Ooh, I almost fell. That would have been bad. And hey, there's more ruins up here. Okay. All right, well, we got a jar to start off with. What's in there? Uh, we got a chicken and a tabby cat. Don't care. Man, look at this. Ain't this beautiful? Oh, what is this? What is this? An odd onion. Uh, we're definitely going to hold on to that. I remember the odd onion in the first game being quite a rare little vegetable to find. So if we can plant it, we're going to. I'm not going to leave it at this. We're going to try to get on top of these. Maybe there's something else to be had. I see this little ledge over here. Hopefully I got the energy. Oh, can I get up? No, I can't. All right. Hold on. We can we can do that. We can do better. All right. And yeah, we are getting really, really high. So I don't know if there is a reason to be up here. It doesn't look like there's really any cosmetic items up here as far as like plants or tall grass. So I'm not sure if we're intended to be up this high. And yeah, as you can see, we are insanely high up in the game. I don't know if the developers intended for us to be this high up. But yeah, I mean, yeah, we're on top of the world. So, I mean, we got that going for us. But yeah, there is absolutely nothing on top of here. So we got to go down now. All right, where was the uh, volcano? I think it was, oh, that's a lot of lava. All right, let's see if we can get on this point. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Hey, I see a treasure box. We're going to try to go for that. Maybe that's what they intended for us to do. Who knows? And yeah, we got there. All right. What is it going to be? A gray warp depot. A set of two gadgets that allow you to remotely transfer resources between two points. That actually sounds really useful. Uh, before we jump down any farther, is there anything else we can see from up here? Oh, God, I fell in the lava. Oh, God, I'm panicking. What the hell are these? What are those like? Oh, man, I didn't even read it. But uh, one of those looks kind of like a bat, maybe? And that looks like a new resource. I'm actually curious. Let's go ahead and pick this up and uh, see what it's going to be. Lava dust, huh? Oh, God. Oh, God. They're trying to get me. Oh, no. And I just spat out an angler. Uh, I think I spat out, too. But there we go. All right, here. Take that. Be calm. Chill. Chill the hell out, man. All right, so everything here seems to be mixed. There's our other angler. Can I get him? Yes, I can. All right, and here's a little... Ooh, some more lava dust. Uh, we definitely want to grab that. 
Alright, come on, come on, blast us, blast us. There we go. Where are we supposed to be going from here? Alright, hopefully we got enough propulsion. There we go. Alright, we're finally out of that toxic ass area. Hey, what are these? Oh, I can't pick them up. Um, let's see. Get rid of the fruit. We got a crystal slime. And those look like new chicks, so we're gonna have to get those back to our chicken army. Alright, ooh, I see a bat. I kind of want the bat more than I want the anglers. I know the anglers are fairly easy to get, but yeah, there we go. We got a bat slime and a boom slime. God damn, there's so many things here we need to get back to base. All right, there we go. Two crystals. So what should we mix? I'm thinking maybe we mix the crystals and the bats together. Yeah, it depends on what they eat. What do you eat? So you are a bat crystal, and that will allow you to eat fruit and veggies. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. Oh, we gotta get this bat before he gets eaten. Okay, there's another resource type. It looks slightly different. Not quite sure what that's gonna be, but uh, we don't have the inventory for it. That's for sure. Oh, what are those? Oh, those are probably... What are these? Fire slimes, huh? Okay, so those are completely different from the boom slimes. What is this? A boom gordo. Uh, he only eats meat. That's kind of an issue, huh? So whenever we get those guys back to base, we're definitely going to have to mix them with something that has a more accessible uh, food resource. And yes, I do know I have the chicken army, but you know what? I don't want to sacrifice it for food's sake. Hey, we got another little thing here. It's going to be inside. Absolutely nothing. All right, there's some more crystals. There we go. We got five. I'm going to get six. Now, if we can only get six bats, that would definitely help us out quite a bit. So that blasted us. Hey, the map. All right, nice. Okay, so let's see. How much of that's going to uncover? Ooh, all right. So we definitely missed an area here. But hey, all right. So uh, we actually got one of these guys in the last play, in the last game, or in the last video. However, um, ooh, and there's another one. But all right, we'll put him down for just a second. E to open. Uh, but I accidentally fell in the water and got him killed while I was collecting all that stuff. So we got a tall magma clump. It looks like just a decorative item. Uh, but I definitely want to get one of these guys back to base. Alright guys, and we've made it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy another corral real quick. We're going to go ahead and try to max it out. Yes. Uh, we're going to give it the air net because the bats do fly. We're going to give it a solar shield because, you know, I would presume that the bats would light night better. We're going to get the port collector and the auto feeder. So this was an expensive little build here. And we'll just put the two bats in there and then we'll put those in there as well. Uh, I think here's what we're going to do. We are going to demolish plot. No, we don't want to do that. We want to remove crops. There we go. $50. And we're going to do the odd onion instead. And let's see. Hopefully something in here eats these. Ah, yeah, there we go. The crystals. Okay. So we'll just pump those in there as well. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this rain tail into the basement. And as we do, it should turn into a rain tail. And we can pick it up and put it in our inventory. And as you can see, there we go. There we go. Now we have a rain tail slime. And the chickens are out of control. All right, this will be the last water lettuce that we give these guys. We are going to vacate them from the premises here once we get their plorts. And we'll replace them with something hopefully a little bit more beneficial to us. Actually, let's look at the market. Let's see what kind of damage we did with that uh, influx of plorts last night. And yeah, everything that we put in there has absolutely crashed. Where these things were close to 30, now they are close to 10. So that is actually a pretty sharp drop from what it was. Hit our button there, and we're going to take the rest of these plorts and actually just put them into our refinery for later recipes. But we can go ahead and start getting rid of these guys they have served us well these cotton tabbies but it is time for a replacement all right and there we go we can put the ring tail in here now he should turn to stone right away because there is sunlight on him and there we go he just turned so that means we are necessarily going to have to get this solar shield here we go and yeah just like that he turned back into a ring tail so we're definitely going to mix him with something nice. Hey, we can also do some music boxes. Kind of calms their soul. Actually, it's not really necessary for the rain tail. However, uh, it will be necessary for these guys because they are quite dangerous. If we actually go in here and touch one of these spikes, you can see it immediately hurts us. We just took 20 points of damage, which uh, happened really fast. So with any luck, that will prevent them from actually doing these little crystals here. I don't know for sure, but hopefully so. All right, well, you can see that these uh, little bays here are about to fill up. And when they do, these guys are going to be vacated from the premises. And we will put the rest of these in the refiner. We don't need to sell them. The market has crashed on those particular ports for now. And we will try to get them replaced with things that we necessarily 
necessarily need. Now I do know we're going to need a very special place for these puddle slimes to go. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and actually unlock all the expansions. Now uh, we got a lot of money. We don't necessarily know what to do with it yet. So there's one and there's two. Okay, and here is the last area, the tide pools. There we go. That was the most expensive one by far. So let's see what it has to offer. Okay, so there's four of these little sections that we can uh, do with as we please. Let's see, is there anything else to be had here? Mm, I'm kind of curious. Can we just put these guys right here? Yeah, so we don't actually have to spend any money on getting those guys uh, their own little area here. So that's pretty good. All right, so these guys should be right about ready. And there we go, 100, 100. So we can start getting rid of these guys. I'm going to also go ahead and preemptively put the solar shield on this as well. And I think that's it. I think all of these are pretty much matched out for now. So it'll definitely help us out in the future. And yet again, our chicken army is getting pretty intense. All right, now that we got a few extra things into the refinery, let's go ahead and see if we can craft anything new. All right, so it's definitely telling us we're definitely going to need some angler slimes into the base at some point. We have plenty of rock ports that we can put in here. Uh, we're working on the ring tails now. I still want to mix them with something. I'm not quite sure yet what that's going to be. And we need some boom plorts as well. And we're going to also need some hunter plorts. So there's definitely a few things that we need to get in the base. So let's go see what we can find. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find me a chicken. There we go. Uh, because there's a particular type of thing over here that I need to feed that to in order to get a plort. And we might mix that one with the ring tail. Uh, looks like there's already some tar action going on. Let's see if we can re help rectify this because the slime that I actually need a plort from is in this area. I uh, can't wait till we have a water patch. That would sure would help. All right, and there should be a hunter over here in this area waiting to ambush me. And he is nowhere to be seen. That is a shame. Hey, wait, I think this is the guy. Yeah, it is. So let's go ahead and feed him. We need the hunter. Plort. Okay. And there we go. We finally have the hunter plort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get that back to base and feed it to our ringtail. All right, we've made it back to base, and here is our rain tail. Let's go ahead and give him that plort, and now he is a hunter rain tail. Oh, God, and he can hurt me from within the cage. So he is feral. I don't know why he went feral, but uh, he's definitely feral now. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the music box to hopefully calm him down. And that seems to have done nothing. He still wants me dead. All right, well, because he eats anything, we're going to need a couple of these uh, plorts here. So let's go ahead and see if we can try to fade him, you know, some of these mint mangoes. All right, there we go. He has eaten, and now he is pacified. And he doesn't seem to be giving us any plorts now. So, hmm. All right, I'm going to go down here and actually grab some of these chickens if I can. There is one of those massive hunter largo things that I, again, forgot the name of, but he needs meat and there's no way around it. All right, what about this? Are you going to give me any plorts with the chickens? There we go. He has eaten one. Let me pick that one back up. And he is not producing anything, so I don't know what the deal is. All right, definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, it seems like if you mix a ringtail with a hunter slime, they produce nothing. Now, that could be a glitch in the game. This game still is in early access, so that may just be something with that. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look into it. All right, well, we're back in the area where we found him. We already go ahead and see another one. Let's go ahead and give him one of these hens. Hopefully, we can get another plore out of him if he'll only eat something. All right, we put him in a corner. He has no choice. Eat my chickens, please. All right. Well, that guy seemed to have been a bust. Let's go see if we can find that Hunter Largo. All right. And we think we found him. Okay, so they're called a Gordo. All right. I'll try to remember that in the future, but 30 of these guys should get him to pop. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. He's so close, though. No, he's not even shaking yet. He's a hungry bitch. It looks like at one point there was chickens, but sadly they are all eaten now. Oh, we can get up here now. So we wasn't actually able to get into this spot before. All right. Well, I'm going to keep following this path here and see if there's something to be had. I think there should be. All right. We can almost make it into that area, which is where I'm actually curious about. I haven't actually been over here yet. All right. So we are in a new area and it looks like there is a crap ton of these guys. So let's see if we can pop a few chickens out. Can I get him? Yeah, we get a hunter. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find any more hunters that are not transformed yet. All right, there we go. We got some hunter plorts. There we go. 
That's two more and a, a little guy. All right, let me grab this chicken bat. Oh, well, never mind. All right, give me your uh, give me your stuff. Okay, so we got five. Five should be at least decent for now. We're gonna have to definitely do some playing around to figure out what we can do about getting these guys to produce at the base. Hey, some more chickens. I need these. There we go, two more, nice. This path is still going upwards. So hopefully there's something really nice here. There's a huge door, at least it looks like a door from here. Uh, we got another hunter as well, that's nice. We can definitely mix and match uh, until we find a good pair that will allow these guys to produce. I'm still curious why the ringtail mix does not work. All right, that, I see a treasure box way over there. That is an awfully long jump. Let's see if we can do it. And yeah, with a little effort, there we go. All right, hopefully this is something good. Azure Mangrove. Okay, so we got another base decoration. We need to start doing that soon, and I believe it's one of those. Hey, look at that! A big old fat butterfly looking thing. All right, hopefully we can get up here, and we can. What are you called? A Flutter Gordo, and it seems like there may be another portal here. What is this? I don't know what this is, guys. Uh, we can't seem to go through it. Uh, maybe by busting this guy, that door will open. So what do you eat? Nectar. Where's Nectar? What is this? There we go. Moon Dew Nectar. Very sweet, but very sticky. Handle with care. Where'd that actually come from? Maybe this tree? Who knows? Well, we definitely got to get this back to base and actually get a bunch of it made. Hopefully, it is a farmable item in the game. Hey, and there's the new guys. Oh, shit. Uh, get rid of the tabby ports. Uh, definitely want you guys. Okay, so we got two. There's another one right there. Hey, and the big ass Hunter Gordo. It will eat anything, so we will definitely make our way back. Let's see where we are on the map. Oh man, we are deep in here. We are definitely deep. We definitely need to find the map, that's for sure. Maybe that's where the moon dew comes from, these flowers? Uh, not quite sure though. Oh, but the map! Oh, there we go. Nice! Alright, so we got some kind of progress. I'm curious what the hell this circle is. All right, we've made it back to this Gordo with 11 hen hens. Hopefully this is enough. And it's still not enough. However, he is shaking. He's very, very close. All right, and hopefully for the last time we have made it back to this guy. Eight. Okay, so it almost took everything that we had. Uh, go ahead and bust that. Let's pick up all these hunters. We're going to need them. Uh, the only thing that I can see right away is we have this. Let's go ahead and open that. Azure shrubs, huh? All right, so we got another decorative item here. And we are in like a mushroom cave. And I still don't know how to open the other end of these things. Let's see where we are actually on the map, right up against the door. Definitely gonna keep that in mind. Uh, this area, at least somewhere on the other side, there is a door to be open. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that ring tail in there by himself since this guy has already changed. Now, let's see, have you produced anything? You're producing something now, there we go. So now he's producing both things. So I don't know what the problem with him was. So let's go ahead and pick him back up and put him over here and fuck it. Let's just fill this batch up with a whole bunch of hunter slimes. There we go, that's definitely more. We'll see how full this gets, uh, but that's definitely more than what I would like to see, so. Oh, no, 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 oh, God. Oh, there we go. I almost got rid of my dew. Also, to help pacify those guys a little bit, we'll go in here and grab a few of our chickens. And I think 14 should do me good. There we go, guys. Eat up, eat up. There you go. All right, let's just see how these guys are doing over here. I've actually honestly forgot they existed, so they should be, yeah, unhappy. And there we go. They seem to like the cabbages. It's not their favorite food, so we'll still have to figure out what that's going to be. I have a suspicion heartbeat. So let's see. Is the odd onions possibly their favorite? favorite food at least the guys that eat vegetables and it is there we go we found it all right nice okay so what i'm gonna do also is we're going to get rid of one of these mint mangoes uh destroy crops there we go and we're gonna put the dew in here oh no we can't put the dew in there all right um hmm I might need to look this up. So if we go to the Slimepedia, then go to resources, we should see the honeydew in here somewhere. Or the moondew. Moondew nectar can't be planted in a garden, only fed to slimes. Oh man, so this day's gonna be one SOB to pop open. That's, uh, that's not good. All right, let's go ahead and plant odd onion in there as well. What are you planting right now? Odd onion and, of course, those. So we're going to look into getting rid of that. And we can go ahead and put the flutter slimes inside of here. It looks like they only eat nectar, so this might not be a good thing. 
We definitely have to mix these guys with something. Oh, jeez. It's like every time I walk down here, dude, it just gets worse and worse. All right, so we got some hunter ports in there. Let's see what the fabricator will allow us to build. All right, well, we picked up a little bit of extra health. Uh, that'll help us some. Ooh, we can not get that yet, but almost. We can, All we need is the primordial oil. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe as I am a very small YouTuber. And with that, guys, I will see you all in the next one.